At $13 billion, the new USS Ford supercarrier is 300% more valuable than Russia's Admiral Kuznetsov crown jewel. And with that comes a level of superiority over the foreigners that could remain unchallenged for two lifetimes. However, there's still some work left to do in this lifetime as the supercarrier continues to face persistent technical failures that managed to annoy even the US President, Donald Trump, as he so publicly expressed. Now, the supercarrier is scheduled for much needed upgrades to fully become the monster structure it was designed to be. As without these upgrades, it would only be some monster that forgot to grow teeth. But after more than a decade of waiting, is it still worth the time and resources that flow through it? Let's find out in this video. It had been 40 years since the last newly designed US aircraft carrier, and the Navy was eager to break that silence by making the loudest statement in aircraft carrier history. And they succeeded in some way, but this statement of theirs now seems far too loud for even them to handle. The Chief of Naval Operations, Admiral Michael Gilday, is worried that the 23 new technologies in the supercarrier are too difficult to handle at a time. And so far, he's been absolutely right. The Navy seems to have bitten off a bit too much, particularly with the problematic electromagnetic launch system, advanced arresting gear, and the new elevators for lifting ammunition from below deck. The launching and arresting systems were built by General Atomics, a fact they might not be too eager to claim at this time as the $3.5 billion systems have been heavily riddled with breakdowns since the carrier was delivered in 2017. The new Electromagnetic Aircraft Launch Systems, EMALS, is a successor to the steam-powered launch systems on Nimitz-class carriers. This new system was designed to make 4,166 launches between mission failures, but has so far only managed 181 launches between failures, falling miles short of the target and maintaining its position as a launch system that's unable to reliably generate sorties. And to add to the disappointment, the failures of the launch systems often took too long to fix, sometimes lasting up to three days. And when all seems rosy with the launch system boosting jets into the sky, the arresting gear decides it's time to issue some frustration of its own. The USS Ford Advanced Arresting Gear, or AAG, boasts of an even more morale-dwindling operational success ratio than the launch systems. The AAG was designed to average 16,500 aircraft landings between mission failures, but only manages about 48 landings instead which is well below requirement, to say the least. And like the launch systems, once the AAG breaks down, it takes a lot of convincing to get it back up, with one breakdown, in particular, taking up to seven days to fix. With a less efficient arresting gear on top of an already inefficient launch system, jets in the sky might have to consider landing on water as it becomes a daunting task to return to the carrier. And the third entry in this line of disappointments is the Advanced Weapon Elevators, AWE, that should, on paper, transport heavier munitions from below deck in record-breaking time. But that's on paper. The reality couldn't be more different. Three controversial years after the USS Ford was commissioned, only six of its 11 elevators were up and running, after surviving through a number of missed deadlines and postponements. So with just over 50% of its elevators in operation, it was impossible for the USS Ford to transport ammunition at the pace it was designed to. Understandably, the US Navy is disturbed by these setbacks, as the last thing anyone needs in the middle of the ocean is a launch system that doesn't launch, an arresting system that spends more time enjoying the view, or an elevator that prefers to stay below deck. In defense of these systems, though, they are new undertakings, and new undertakings often take years, if not decades, to perfect. But once perfected, they'll mark the birth of a new era, one commanded by an invincible, dominant, upgraded USS Ford supercarrier. A century-old line of aircraft carriers has led the world to the 110,000-ton, unrivaled USS Ford, a supercarrier that, when running at full potential, has an entire catalog of technology upgrades that give the US an unfair advantage over whichever opposition they might come across. Here are the top five of these game-changing upgrades. 
Number 5. Automation The USS Ford is an intelligent carrier with the ability to act with little to no human intervention. This automation means more activities are executed in less time while simultaneously reducing the number of hands needed on deck. So, this carrier, although larger in every regard than its Nimitz-class cousins, would require only about 4,500 personnel on board. Compared to the 5,000 on Nimitz-class carriers, allowing for increased free space below deck to hold more weapons, amenities, and systems. Number 4. Advanced Launch, Arrest, and Elevator Systems The USS Ford does away with the steam-powered catapults on Nimitz-class carriers, and instead features the E-Malls that, once perfected, use linear induction motors to launch all types of fixed-wing, manned or unmanned aircraft, resulting in 25% more sorties than the closest competition. This launch system also cancels out the need to generate and store steam, allowing more power to be retained for other use, such as thrust. And the carrier would recover aircraft just as smoothly as it launches them, using its pioneering AAG Turbo Electric system. This arresting system, once up and running to max potential, has digital automated controls capable of self-diagnosis and sending prompt maintenance alerts, which is more than we can say about its closest rival, the Mark 7 hydraulic arresting gear, which, in addition to not being half as digital, requires a ton of pre-flight and post-flight checks. The elevator system on the USS Ford carrier does more than you would expect on a regular elevator in a Dubai skyrise. It was designed with the heaviest, most complex smart ammunitions in mind. They fetch ammunition of every kind from stories deep inside of the carrier to the flight deck in the shortest possible time, ensuring fighter jets are loaded swiftly to be launched into the sky. Number 3. Virtually Unlimited Power The USS Ford is powered by new generation nuclear A1B reactors that can thrust the carrier for 25 years at a go without refueling. And with an estimated lifespan of 50 years, this carrier will likely only have to refuel once in its operational life after deployment. The nuclear reactors thrust the carrier to a max speed of about 30 knots, enabling the USS Ford to travel around the world multiple times over, advertising the might of the US military on every corner of the planet connected by bodies of water. And seeing as planet Earth has three times more water than land, the USS Ford supercarrier is one with a truly limitless range. Number 2. Modern Weapons and Aircraft Being the most advanced aircraft carrier in the world, it's only ideal to support the most advanced weapons and aircraft in its navy. The weapons on board include the Evolved Sea Sparrow Missile, Rolling Airframe Missile, and Phalanx CIWS, among others. The carrier will also have up to 75 aircraft on its flight deck, which will be a mixture of different manned and unmanned aircraft. The flagship fighter on deck will be the Navy's most advanced carrier-based fighter jet, the F-35C Lightning II Joint Strike Fighter, making the USS Ford only the second ever carrier with capabilities to launch the top-tier fifth-generation fighter behind the USS Carl Vinson. Number 1. Quality of Crew Life the most important resource of every aircraft carrier is the group of personnel that keeps her oiled up and ready for action, and the USS Ford is very aware of this. The carrier is centered around improving the quality of life for every member of her 4,500-strong crew. With a monstrous size and less unnecessary systems, the USS Ford has more than enough room to hold every life enhancement feature, from ergonomic spaces to state-of-the-art gymnasiums. With this, the crew is healthy enough to operate a moving airbase capable of traveling journeys long enough to rival that of satellites in space, all the while preparing aircraft to take to the skies and land instantaneously. For now though, the carrier has some icebergs to overcome in the form of systems that haven't lived up to expectations, such as the launch systems, arrest gear, and elevators. The carrier has, however, already survived shock trials that simulated a 3.9 magnitude earthquake meaning it works perfectly as one giant system that's simply plagued with a few minor bumps in the road, or in this case, on the seas. The USS Ford supercarrier will be tasked with supporting every aspect of the US military, like the Nimitz-class carriers have been doing for the past decades. 
Hopefully, the carrier would also be interested in supporting this channel by giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel. Oh, it can't, but you can. So kindly hit the like button, click on the red subscribe button down below, and throw in the bell button so you'll be notified when a new video is released. It helps with the YouTube algorithm. And that'll be all for this video. Thanks for watching.